welcome back again. I have the pleasure of introducing Sammy Beauty Crush to my channel Hello. for the first time, which is so exciting <laughs> for me because I am a huge, huge fan of Sammy's channel oh, and I always have been. <laughs> so this is so exciting for me. Today, I thought we would do a bit of a video about our Desert Island Beauty Essentials. Kind of had this idea that it's mm -hmm. always nice to see what YouTubers and bloggers really really love yeah, and what they I can't really well. live without because I know we mm. love a lot of products but there's some things that I will always go yeah. back to. Always repurchase. Yeah exactly so I thought it would be kind of the idea of we've been put on a desert island and we've got a bag of beauty products and what would we hope was in that bag of beauty products mm. so we've got together seven of our favourite products yep. so we're going to go through them talk about why we love them and why we'd need them. Right. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go first Sammy? Okay so my first thing is a hydrating serum because I love serums recently you were saying you yeah, do as well too, right so, much, yeah. <laughs> so my skin is kind of combination oily but then I, it's dehydrated so right. I it's just great to have a lovely hydrating one and this isn't too expensive it's Vichy Aquilina Thermal Serum I really really recommend it sounds and, amazing I've yeah. never seen that one before it's so nice and I love the packaging as well really lightweight on the skin gorgeous uh, do you wear that at night or in the morning both actually both. yeah yeah I mean I would both <laughs> it's not too thick even if your skin's oily it's just lovely it sounds amazing I yeah. want that now <laughs> okay so my first one I'll go on a similar line of what you said most people will not be surprised I go on about this product so much in like every <laughs> video it's a regen cream I know I know you're all probably really really sick of this now but it really is so good it's a moisturizer I can use day and night it's great for problem skin it's great if you've got blemishes or if your skin's feeling really dehydrated it's such a good boost and it's just like an ordinary cream cream you know it's just super easy this. Can I smell yeah it? <laughs> it's just got that kind of like mm. you know like really <laughs> really skin carey fresh yeah it smell does. it just smells like it does good Lovely. and I just love it and it's so cheap you can Is get it? it yeah you can get it from Aldi home bargains after and it's like Ooh. four pounds <laughs> that's really good and it lasts forever forever mm. I love it and that's the kind of thing I would always want with me lovely yeah okay <laughs> my next thing is hair related and I don't talk about hair products that much because there's not that many I love but oh. for my cut when my hair's curly like this it, I have to have a curl defining cream or something to to stop it from getting too frizzy um, and I love this this is phyto specific um, moisturizing styling cream with quinoa oil and rice wax Ooh. that's the first time I've read that yeah. rice wax, <laughs> rice wax. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. It's certain. Uh, mm, it smells nice. It doesn't smell the best. Does it not? But. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's got that. Yeah, again, it's like yeah. a similar smell to Regen, you know, yeah. quite like. Just mm -hmm. fresh and clean stuff. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, yeah, quite lightweight for the hair because I hate sticky products in the hair. Yeah. Um, and if you've got curly hair, I really recommend it. Oh, perfect. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with her then next. And again, I'm probably so boring in this video. I love this too. Yeah, <laughs> Moroccan so oil. I can't live without mm. it at all. It, so many people ask me how do I keep my coloured hair in such good condition and it is literally down to this I just put like mm -hmm. a 10 pence p amount into my hands rub it through all of my ends not through the rest of your hair because it can get a bit greasy mm. but on the ends of your hair it is a lifesaver it just really nourishes and hydrates them mm. and then when you come to drying it they're just so much smoother and yeah. softer I it's love it so good I love because I use it sometimes on dry hair or wet hair or damp right, hair yep. um, and I love this size of the bottle because it's really easy to to travel with yeah these are perfect lovely. for traveling you can get the bigger ones and the bigger mm. one is about 30 pound which is quite pricey but it lasts you forever it mm. lasts so long but for traveling these little ones are perfect like I took this when I went um, traveling around America for 11 weeks I had one of these and it was so handy I love that my next thing I'll go with eyes um, <laughs> I'm obsessed with winged liner I just can't not wear winged liner I, so this is my favorite um, <laughs> liquid liner and actually I was going to leave mascara out because I would actually leave the what I would <laughs> wear this and not mascara that's how much I love winged liner so Aww. the L'Oreal super liner in black liquor really jet black color it stays on for ages I find it really easy to use um, and to apply it just oh, has yeah. this kind of it's like foam, foam yeah foam nip. yeah it's Ooh, lovely cool. <laughs> so Good. yeah inexpensive and my love Oh fab! <laughs> okay, well I was really boring and didn't put much makeup on this. <laughs> um, but the one thing I suppose I do have is a lip balm. Um, I want to try this. Yeah, well this is, is it really good. Yeah, it is actually. This is a Blistex one. Feel I free if it. you want a bit. It's very kind of Ooh, that. I like that though. That kind of mm -hmm. petroleum strong stuff. Yeah. But I mean either Blistex or Carmex. 
I can't go wrong with. I wear it every single night before bed. I always have one in my purse ready for any kind of opportunity yep. to put it on because I just find that I need the more strong stuff like mm -hmm. this to Same. really get my lips just yeah. back to normal because I have really, really chat lips a lot yeah. and it always does take these like, big guns, so Blistex or Carmex, to really get it back to life. My next thing is... I'll go... Mm -hmm. Red lips. Yeah. I just love, as much as I love wing winged liner, I love red lips. And I just yeah. think that having red lips, it gives me so much confidence as well when I put it on. Or yeah. kind of any bold lip, I just love bold me colours too. as well. Um, so, as an example, I usually always also use the MAC, Max Russian Red, which is my oh, all-time favourite. I love it's Russian so Red. It's so good, I yeah. love it. Um, yeah. But I recently discovered Nars Cruella uh, Matte Ooh. Lip Pencil and it is really really good. Quite a close colour match to um, Russian Red as well. It's a consistency yeah. nicer. Is it not as drying as Russian um, Red? I prefer Russian Red for longevity, if that's right. the word. <laughs> right. But this is good for travelling and if you don't want, if you're kind of scared of Russian Red smearing and stuff, right. this is also matte but more matte. If that makes oh, sense. So, so it doesn't move as much. Yeah. Does, it? Does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. <laughs> no, I, I love bold lips as well, definitely. Yeah. But I was so torn when I was choosing my essentials. So there are. Yeah. Honestly, I have lots of essential makeup things, but I've, I guess I've gone more skincare right here. It's good. I love um, skincare as well. Yeah. So, oh, in fact, no, one makeup -y thing I do have <laughs> some eyelash curlers. Um, again, I go on about it so much, but I have the straightest eyelashes ever. They're so straight. And I find that if I'm applying mascara or anything else to my eyes, I have to curl my eyelashes first. Yeah. I just think it's the one thing that every woman should always do, curl their eyelashes. And these from Shumura are definitely the best. I've tried yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, they're so good. Same. So <laughs> many different types. Yeah. And these are by far the best. They hold the curl so well. You can, the curl stays mm -hmm. all day, especially if you put some waterproof mascara on after it. Yeah. So, yeah eyelash curlers all the way and they're really comfortable to use that yeah they don't easily clamp your skin which can really hurt yeah, when that you do that work. by accident yeah <laughs> definitely yeah they are more comfortable yeah. my next thing also kind of related to lashes well not kind of it is <laughs> <laughs> um, a mascara i think just mascara in general just uh, yeah it's like a woman's thing that you yeah. have to have <laughs> opens your eyes up <laughs> yeah um so the one that i'm using at the moment is the DJV Butanizer Volume Lash and I saw this in Liberties um, and picked it up because it said it was supposed to be this amazing like really popular mascara. Yeah. Um, I do really like it. I prefer, I have my favourites more than this if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, don't know if you can see the brush there but it looks really nice. I like it. Yeah, yeah it's a really long one and it really um, grabs your lash as well. Um, it's really good for thickening, not as good for lengthening but good for volume and Thickening. I've never even heard of that yeah. brand before. I know, though. that's what I thought. Because I haven't seen it around much. I just wanted to yeah. give it a try. It's also trying new brands new. out, isn't it? You can yeah. often find beauty gems doing that. Okay, next one for me. Again, it's more skincare-y, uh, but the Hand Chemistry Hand Cream. It's a 24% active complex. It's the only one with the blue bottle, I think. But I just find this is the most insane hand cream ever. It almost feels like a serum. Did you try some before? No, I haven't tried it. almost anything. feels like a serum gel. Ooh. So when you rub it together, Ooh. yeah, literally your hands feel it's light so hydrated. Yeah, don't it's they? It's really nice. Literally, it just feels like your hands are mm. soaking up this. It smells it, so fresh. It does, doesn't it? What is yeah. that smell? It's so nice though. Oh, I, I don't, don't know. know. But I literally, every night. Oh, it's like clean cotton almost. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it <laughs> It's is. really nice. Think, yeah. Ooh. It's beautiful. So I put this on every night before bed. After I've done all of my face mm. makeup and skincare makeup. <laughs> <laughs> After I do all of my skincare, I'll put my hand cream on. And mm. I never miss this step because I actually love it so much. And I already have mm -hmm. another bottle ready to use because like, I can't ever. Fun. Selfridges and yeah. Liberty. And where's the other place? Is it expensive? It's about twenty pounds. I think it's worth yeah. it though because it's a really I've, good hand cream. I've tried so many hand creams as well, and they've made me not a hand cream person because they're really? sticky right. and I. But that's really it's lovely. It's so beautiful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it's has just, just gone. Feel like velvet. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love <laughs> really it. Really so, good. Yeah, that's the kind of yeah. thing that I will always continue buying. I think I love this one. The next thing is foundation. I just can't live without foundation. I went with this over concealer as well. Just. <laughs> <ugh>. <laughs> <laughs> and I choose yeah. this one as well. For yeah. Um, so yeah, this is Nars Sheer Glow. I've spoken about this so many times, <laughs> um, and I just don't want to go on about it again and again. But kind of medium buildable coverage gives your skin like a kind of healthy yeah, looking glow. Yeah. Radiant. Um, 
and I think they do really good color colors as well and color matches yeah. because they're quite I think they're quite yellow toned aren't yeah, they definitely. which is really good and ble just blends in lovely and yeah it's beautiful what color oh. do you have yours in um in the at the moment I'm Barcelona in the summer I'm Syracuse Ooh, really weird name <laughs> yeah I'm in Deauville as well mm. for anyone that is interested yeah I I, I absolutely love that foundation as well mm. I'd say either that one or Laura Mercier silk cream oh, I want to try that you never tried not, it. it there's not many colors I think oh. like yeah, I, oh, I don't it's know. So I'll try. It's the most beautiful foundation yeah. ever. Next one, um, I'm gonna go with this one. Um, Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf. I absolutely love this perfume. So nice. I've worn it for years and years, and I do also like the original more pink bottle but I find that the purple bottle is just a bit more intense mm. a bit more richer and it's just a beautiful beautiful perfume so I love this and yeah I know you're on a desert island but I still want to smell really really nice <laughs> why like, not yeah perfume is essential for every day it's that yeah. last little finishing touch isn't it to your yeah, outfit yeah it really is yeah and that. like for how you feel and it just yeah it does lovely. it boosts, boosts you doesn't it really and I've bit. also got a perfume um this one is quite different to that one actually it's yeah. kind of a kind of a coin of a quantum <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a contrast. Okay, this is the Caudalie. No, sorry. Per Parfum de Vin. De Vin. De Vin. De, de, vin. <laughs> de Vin. In English, <laughs> Perfume Divine, I think. Oh, okay. Um, oh, from, sorry, from Caudalie. And this is really hard to explain, mm. but it's kind of more. Oh, it's fresh. I, um, <laughs> I don't know. What is it? It's beautiful. It's just, it's really fresh and yeah. kind of spary. Yeah, quite, um, it's quite spary. It's I, sweet in a way, isn't yeah, it? Or yeah, kind of like a soft way. Um, yeah. Really so unique, I think. Explain. Just go and give it a sniff if you can. Yeah. Um, but a lovely one for when I don't want a really heavy um, perfume, because I mix perfumes up all the time, but when yeah. I just want something light and lovely, yeah. <laughs> I'll just reach It's just very this. pretty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Bright yeah. And just fresh. Like, like you said, it's nice to finish off everything with a nice scent. <laughs> Last one for me, my seventh one is the Tangle Teaser. I think I've got about four Tangle Teasers now. Really? <laughs> yeah. So it just gets out all the knots and tangles so much yeah. easier than other brushes. Because I but I got bought into these when I was going through a really bad time with my hair and it was I felt like loads of my hair was coming out. I was like, oh god. Mm. So I got this and just found that it was perfect. So and it also for me kind of I feel like it volumizes my hair a bit. Yeah, because I used to use this. I haven't used it as much with the curly hair because I feel like it'll get stuck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I did used to use it, and like it's great for extensions as well. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. It's just really smooths them out. Yeah, no, it's really yeah. smoothing. Yeah. So this is definitely my seventh desert island essential. So <laughs> that's everything to say. <laughs> Yay! So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know down below as well what your desert island essentials are. It'd be nice to see if you've got similar ones to us or what you would recommend as well. Also, we've just filmed on Sammy's channel. We filmed a really kind of advanced advisory girl talk all about university and what we learnt from university it was really really fun to watch yeah. so I'll leave a link to that below and also make sure you go and check out Sammy's channel as well I'm sure a lot of you already have <laughs> but if you haven't you need to go and check out Sammy's channel it's one of my absolute favourites so it's you. fantastic so go check that out as well really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and a subscribe if you're new and in that case I'll see you in my next one bye, bye.